Welcome to Shit. Splitgate Arena Warfare, where you have a lot of this, <laughs> this, <laughs> and this. Hello, everybody. I pee on children. Whoa. Yellow, it's me, it's the chaos. In this video today, we're gonna go over why you should play Splitgate Arena Warfare. Splitgate Arena Warfare is a multiplayer first person shooter that uses player controlled portals to create a new dimension of arena combat. For any of you Halo vets out there, this is a game that I would definitely recommend playing because it legit plays just like Halo. Don't believe me? Well, I can tell you this much that in terms of the weapons in the game, pretty much all the weapons are inspired from one Halo game or another. And here I will show you all the weapons currently in the game. First off, we have the pistol. And the pistol reminds me of the good old days with the Halo 1 pistol. Three shots to the head with this weapon is a kill. Um, and it's honestly one of the best weapons in the game and you get it as a secondary right off the bat when you start the game. And then your primary, which you're going to start with, is the assault rifle. In my opinion, it's just like the Halo 1 assault rifle. just looks a little different with that more profound scope on top. Then the battle rifle, or the BR, <laughs> um, looks pretty identical to me to the Halo uh, 2, Halo uh, 3 uh, battle rifle. And next we have the plasma rifle. I recommend never picking this weapon up because it's a big pile of trash. Um, it does like no damage and it's really hard to hit people with it uh, the rail gun here I think it acts a lot like the halo laser um, from Halo 3 um, it's a one-shot kill if you hit with it but uh, it's a little harder in uh, close quarters um, rocket launcher <laughs> Pretty much acts the same way as uh, the Halo rocket launcher from pretty much all the Halos. It's just I don't think it has as big of a splash radius. Uh, shotgun here. Um, if you're up close, this gun will one-shot pretty much anyone, even if it's not a headshot. Then for the SMG here, uh, this is probably the second best weapon up close next to the shotgun just because of the rate of fire. I like this weapon a lot, but it's not good for medium range. And then lastly, we got the sniper, which... Uh, if you get a headshot with it, it's a one shot, but if you don't, it's a two shot. And uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of it, in my opinion. It's just really hard to use, uh, just because the maps are so enclosed and everyone can move so fast just because you can use portals. I mainly just use it to no scope, honestly, and then I just pick up another weapon. Trying to save money? Well, Splitgate is free to play and available on Steam right now. The only downside is you cannot play it on PS4 or Xbox One currently. But according to this Game Evolution article, they do plan on coming to Xbox or PS4 in the future. My guess is they're just trying to see how this game does on PC to uh, decide if they're going to do that. I was actually really taken back by this game because I expected there to be a lot more bugs and issues just, you know, from the track record of games I've already played like PUBG and Fortnite. Um, but I really loved how smooth this game played and the portal mechanics uh, worked just like the, the game Portal 1 and 2. The only thing with the portal mechanics is grenades. Now, if you take a look here, I just threw that grenade. That portal is gone. That only works on enemy portals, which uh, it doesn't do any damage to players. It just destroys portals. So that's kind of the unique future um, with uh, the grenade and the portals in general. And you're actually able to close off your portal, which will prevent teammates, prevent enemies uh, to go into that portal. But that's only done if you hit the close portal button, which you have to keybind in the game. Also, another portal feature is when it lights up, that means someone is on the other side or quite clearly see bullets flying out of it there's someone on their side he actually just closed his portal there um which was insane the angle he had on pretty much me and my team in the first place so this game is very unique in terms of strategies you can do i just recommend not looking through a portal too long because it's such a fast-paced game people will come up behind you before you even know what happened the nice thing about Splitgate, it comes out with eight different maps and a bunch of different game modes. Free for all, team deathmatch, K2, 
King of the Hill, Area Domination, Oddball, and Kill Confirmed, which I believe it's it's actually called Teabag Confirmed. And as you can see, uh, the whole game is to basically teabag so you get the kill. It's pretty hilarious, and you can actually deny t uh, enemy players from collecting your teammate's tag by teabagging your own teammate. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but it's it's funny. The thing that really blew me away was how respectful and positive uh, everyone was um, before and after the game. Um, here's an example just before the game of just how kind of nice people were. How you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. What's up? Oh, man. Is that like an evil Naratu? No, I like the, I like the yes. A pose after it spawns. It's cool. That guy uh, looks do you like guys like using the pistol? Frame. It's pretty nice. And that was pretty much the extent of every pre-game and in-game conversation. But uh, at in-game, people were, were saying good game and stuff. And stuff I haven't heard in a long time. Uh, I'm just so used to like PUBG and Fortnite. Everyone's just super toxic. And lastly, in terms of skins in this game, we have some of the best worst skins. As you can kind of see right here, just a preview of skins. I don't know what the developer's obsession with purple is, but uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of variety and uh, some just really terrible skins and then just really good skins. Just for playing about for four hours, I got about 20 skins unlocked and I haven't put a single dime into this game. So I, I really like that aspect. And that's going to pretty much wrap it up for me in my Splitgate impression slash review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys look into this game because I had a lot of fun playing it. And if you want to and you made it this far in the video, go ahead and add Mista Castla. There's going to be a space between Mista and Castla. But go ahead and add me on Steam and uh, I'll play some games with you. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to the video or dislike the video if you didn't like it. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. This is me, the case, and God bless you.